Okay, new coding concepts, class attribute. You can change the class of an object by executing self class equals some other class. Note that doing this does not affect any attributes created during initialization. Example, self.instance attribute equals ABC, since the object itself hasn't changed. I'll demonstrate this in the example below. Only the references to its methods and static attributes have been replaced with the methods and static attributes of the new class. So this explains how calling tell me the future and tell me your form from the proxy use case produce different results after changing self class. So below is some code to demonstrate how changing an instance's class does not affect any instance self level attributes. So let's copy this code. I've just copied that to clipboard using that icon there. I've opened Visual Studio Code. I've got test.py. I'm going to paste that. Save. And let's look at it. Now, at the beginning, I've got a class called class A with a static attribute called A. It has an init method with self. Self.instance attribute equals A. I've got an instance method, which uses self. So instance method A. And we'll just print that. Now, I've got a static method, which prints static method A. And I've got a class method, which prints class method A. So I'll create a new instance of class A. And then I'll change it its class to be class B. And we'll see that the class method static and the instance method and the static attribute will all update to class B's version, which will print B's. But the one that doesn't change is the self instance attribute. Okay, so down here, A equals class A. I'm going to print out the ID of A and print out all the attributes of it and call its methods. And we'll see that they will all come from class A. Down here, I then change A's class using the class Dunder attribute to class B. I'll print ID of A again and the ID will remain the same, but the A static attribute will be different. The A instance attribute attribute will be the same. A's instance method would have changed. Same with the static method and the class method. So Python test.py. Enter. Okay, so the IDs are the same. Static attribute A, static attribute B. So that changed. Instance attribute A, instance attribute A. That didn't change. That's self.instance attribute A. See, in class B, it's self instance attribute should equal B, but it's equaling A down there. That's because it's using self instance attribute A. And continuing on, instance method B, static method B, class method B. So when you're changing a class, just beware that anything that was created during initialization or that you reference via self does not change. Now, down here in the instance method, I'm actually just going to print this instead. So instance method, self instance attribute, and do the same with A. And we'll see that again. Okay, so it still says instance attribute A for B. Okay, so there you go. Some little detail about changing an instance's class at runtime. Excellent. In the next video, we'll talk about circular imports. Okay, excellent.